Hello, my name is Jim Mullaney from SciTech Process Solutions. Today is Wednesday, May 6, 2020. Today I'm doing a video source inspection on a refurbished Vertec 1600-55 spin wrench dryer. This acceptance video will be uploaded to our YouTube channel, so we do not give our customers names out. However, so they know it's their tool, we do give out their PO number, 300-561-8758. So this uh, actually is a trade-in uh, system that the customer has a system that's in their facility right now in their fab, barely working, so we're actually gonna replace it with a system we refurbished. I won't go over our refurbishment specification, all the detailed uh, line items. Uh, that is located in our quotes and our customers are aware of that, so I don't need to review all that. But we go through a complete refurbishment of the system. It turns out uh, we, pick, we purchased the Vertec product line a little over a year ago, and there are a lot and a lot of different configurations, way more than we thought, of how um, people configured them. Sometimes people have the controllers on the top. Sometimes the controllers are on the bottom. Sometimes people build different frames. Sometimes they're through the wall. Sometimes they're left, right door. That's why, uh, as you see, these gapping, it's not a perfect match because that's not how the Vertec did it. They would then build a system and then put another system with it. Uh, they're also, we used our stickers here, but they're also pass-throughs if you have an auto door option. So even though these do not have auto doors, they still have the cutouts, which to us look ugly. Um, uh, so um, the configuration of each system is going to be a little bit different. Unlike some of the other spin wrench dryers where they're, they're exact duplicates, we found so far on all the Vertex we've been doing, every, everyone's diff different. But uh, that's okay, we just had to learn our lesson on this. Um, we also are learning the spare parts uh, for the tools. Uh, a lot of the off-the-shelf spare parts like windows, doors, door seals, control repairs we can do. But when we start getting into the sub-assemblies, uh, what Vertec did in Martech is they sub-assembled everything. And so every, you didn't buy a, um, a packaged part from a vendor. You actually bought all the little parts and had to assemble itself. So we're learning all the assembly drawings and how they work. And we're hoping in the next three months to six months, we are 100% up to speed on the Vertec product line. Since now we own the IP rights, the software, all the hardware, we have a whole warehouse of spare parts and machines, so uh, we're, we're trying to come up to speed. So what I'll do is, uh, on a typical spin wrench dryer, you have rinse and dries. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start the tool, and then I'll talk about more of our uh, basic remanufacturing process and then some other tools we support. So with, and, and in a normal way for fab, uh, you come in. So what's different in Vertec too is this one, as you can see, is H-bar in. Most Vertec oil rotors are H-bar out. Uh, they intentionally did that. I'm not sure. Actually, I don't know why Vertec did it uh, because I did not work for Vertec at the time. Um, but uh, they did the opposite of semi-tool. Semi-tool was always H-bar in. The Vertec was H-bar out. So uh, they also um, spin differently. Uh, so simply, you come in from the wafer fab, you load your cassette, and you close the door. This is a, um, a, a door seal that will expand and, and close. Same thing down here. Here's your cassette and you close. You simply then hit start. We have a 30 second rinse and hit start. Uh, we have noticed too um, with all the Vertec uh, controllers uh, they tend that in their amps ramp up slower than we're used to seeing but as you can see we got to 500 no problem it's uh, and it's pretty very stable at 500. Very quiet no vibration Well, now we're going to go into uh, step zero is really the first step. Step one is the second step, which is the high RPM step. It just kind of went through its harmonic. Every rotor has a harmonic. And we'll ramp up. Bottom system is now also ramping up. Okay. So this system we're running dry one at a high RPM, which is typical on a spinner and dryer. It's meant to use a shorter duration, sling the water off of the wafer cassette and, and rotors. Unlike the next size up, the larger tool, the 1800, it only goes to 1200 RPM in the manual. This system is more traditional to a rinse or dryer process, it goes to 1800. Uh, after another 21 seconds, we'll drop down into dry two, which is a slower RPM dry. We use a longer duration, a hot end two to dry uh, the bowls, uh, the wafers and the cassettes. I'll, then I'll start talking about our process in a second. Okay, now we're going to start ramping down, back down. 240, which is a, a typical uh, time for a process, about four minutes. Uh, that, during that next four minutes, it's kind of boring watching the machine because nothing's happening. It just spins like this. 
So I'll talk about kind of our rebuild process and then some of our uh, support. So when we sell a refurbished or we refurbish a customer's rinse or dryer, again, talking about the Vertec product line, uh, we actually uh, take the systems, we take the bowls out, we reprocess the bowls, we have an in-house uh, resurfacing, we send the bowls out to be electropolished, we send out some other parts to be EP'd, electropolished. We then start going through all of the uh, major and minor components, all the valving, all the sensors, all the wiring, all the uh, motor gets rebuilt. We go through everything. That's in, <clears throat> in our dry build area. Why the bowls being sent out for the electropolish, where our technicians are doing the dry build. When it comes back in, the bowls reassembled, the whole system's put back together, and it goes through dry testing. Uh, the dry testing uh, uh, has to be done um, in our dry area before any water comes to it. it once a tool is uh, past the initial dry test build, we have a second inspection from another technician that reviews it and, and okays it. If not, we make any needed repairs. Once that's done, the heads are brought into the wet processing area here and their uh, DI is uh, put to them to make sure there's no uh, leaky valves, tighten fittings and so forth. Once it's all uh, facilitized correctly and we, we run uh, 50 product uh, process runs with no errors, uh, at the end of 50 process runs, uh, the system is then uh, um, ready for video and sales is called to come do this video. See the, you can see this uh, system is running. Oh, I had a longer, oh, I had a longer dry uh, in the bottom one. I didn't realize that. Oh, about the same. So, in the manual, this is where it's different. We traditionally at, at uh, SciTech follow the semi-tool process, which is a low RPM. We did this to show you this is dry too in a high RPM. Their man, the, the Vertec manual actually says one rinse, one dry, uh, even though it's a 10-step process. Uh, so I'm, I, have a, I have a high and a low RPM on to see. Uh, as you can see, it's very quiet, no vibration. Uh, and we'll see, and I, you'll see comparisons at the end of the process. Uh, I, I, I expect the wafers, cassette, rotor, and so forth to be equally dry. The reason I say it's important is uh, at Semi-Tool, at least, uh, when I worked there in our process lab in Montana, there was lots of tests uh, done for particle control. We always found the lower RPM gets better particles. So I'm um, saying this to the customer, if they're used to having Vertex and they, they're used to running high RPM, they might want to look at dropping the RPM down to, to anywhere between five and 800 and they, would, they should get better particle counts if they're doing particle testing. So we have about a minute to go, a minute and a half. So I'll talk about our other products. We, all, we are the, the world leader in the in floorware and Tegas rebuilds. We do quite a lot of systems. We have two on the floor now, one we sold and one a customer just sent us to be complete remanufactured. Uh, we also do, we have spare parts for those. We have motors, we have hubs, we have spray nozzles. We have uh, lo lots of stuff on our website. Then we also do the uh, mask and wafer scrubbers, the Ultra T, Ultra K, uh, K and S, and uh, Ultra Tech. Um, we do quite a lot of those. We do uh, anywhere, usually have anywhere from four to six in stock at any given time. Okay, so I'll talk about our other products once I finish this. So at the end of another 30 seconds, the system will go through. It'll upright, which we call the home position, which is 12 o'clock. Uh, the door will deflate and I'll be able to remove uh, the wafers and check for the dryness. And these systems are right on the same, 20 seconds, 21 seconds. Alrighty, winding down. Because it's a small wafer, six inch compared to uh, eight inch, it winds down very quickly. Okay. There we go. We just uprighted. I heard it. Well, you can hear it too. The door release, and that's the purge. The Vertex have a pretty aggressive purge and LB. Uh, that's a low pressure purge and a N2 flow. As you can hear, so everything looks good in here. I like to seal and hot on nitrogen. Cassettes dry, wafers are dry. Cassettes nice and warm. Let's look at the bottom rinse dryer. Bowl looks good. Wafers are nice and dry. Nice and warm. As you can hear, the, the, the purge is turned off. So as you can see, the process for both uh, 
top and bottom rinser dryer at the end was the same, but you can see I ran a much, a much lower RPM at the top one, which again, we suggest the customers might, might want to do that. Uh, you might hear the water. The system is built in with a recirculation uh, system. You can turn down, there's a metering valve to turn that down so you don't have to have as much flow. Uh, as uh, wafer fabs know, you do not want dead legs for the DI source. That could be a, a source of area for bacteria growth. So you keep a trickle effect or whatever out of flow you want to keep the DI water moving. So talking about our other products, we also uh, offer metrology tools. We do the 10 core uh, KLA particle counters. We have metrology, we do um, the Gertner lipsometers, we do um, Rudolph lipsometers, we do nanometrics tools, we do ambience uh, film thickness measurement systems, we do um, step height measurements, deck tack systems, alpha steps. Uh, we also do uh, uh, high and low power microscopes, uh, the Nikon uh, high power and Olympus high power. Uh, we also do uh, quite a lot of cassettes. It turns out over the years, we've, uh, when customers have resized their fab or unfortunately sometimes closed, we've, we've gone in and buy all their inventory. So in one of our warehouses, we have about over 5,000 cassettes in stock. So if you look on our website and you're looking for cassettes, handles, boxes, we have, we have a lot of those. We actually use our box washers that we, ran, we manufacture to clean all of our cassettes too. So this will uh, end this uh, video source inspection of a refurbished Vertec 1600-55 spin wrench dryer. Again, my name is Jim Mullaney from SciTech Process Solutions. Today is Wednesday, uh, May 6, 2020. If you'd like to call us, our number is 916-797-9000, and you can ask for anyone in our sales organization. Thank you. Have a great day.